Hello dudes and dudettes. This is the first video of racing with Levi. Well, kind of the first. This is, uh, well, the first video that I'm showing in person. The first one was the racing course video where I'm driving. And now this one. I've got a trailer and it looks cool. It's a Cargo Express. I don't know what model it is, but it just is. Here are the specs of the trailer. It's 24 feet long. It is, I think, I'll just put in the tiles on how wide it is. But it's 24 feet long. I believe it is 10 feet tall, if I'm correct. That's it. It's made of aluminum on the outside. It, it's super nice. And now let's walk into the inside. We do need to lube this up, I think, because it's it's extra squeaky. Oh yeah, and you just shove like a padlock through that, so it locks. But it's super squeaky. I don't know why it's not squeaking right now, but all right. Okay, but. All right, let's now get to the inside of the trailer. You step in. Okay, and the uh, door has a lock on it. It's just latched, so then it's got a lock. Do that to lock it. And you can unlock it from the outside as well. This is really spacious. This is, this um, back door lowers because of the wall, obviously. And it's using garage springs, so it's easy to replace. And the wiring up here, is for the tail lights, so yeah. And when you walk over here, you've got a place where you could shove your extension cord through so you can use certain amenities if you need it. The points where you feed the extension cord through is located right here in front of the trailer. It's very easy to find, it just juts out from the bottom of the plywood. Yeah, it's like right up at the front. So it's like right there. The vents are right here and the outside, they're not power operated. So they're just vents pretty much that go to the outside. The vents are located right there and right over here. These are the wheel wells pretty much. This only really takes away like a foot so you can still fit a big car in here. You can fit a pickup truck in here. Yeah. And we're planning to get a Fumble Ford. If you take the nose off the car, which is part of the bodywork, you can fit two of them in here. So we're planning to get two a Fumble Ford and a Fumble Atlantic. So this is more than enough. We are also going to decorate the trailer in the upcoming videos. You've got Texas International sign here, like that we've got. We also need to put like some kind of way to, to uh, not latch, but uh, strap the car down. So, and we've got, we could either get rails or D-rings. The rails, I don't know how they work, but D-rings are pretty much D-rings. Everyone knows what they are. So yeah, everything's aluminum except for the walls here. Yeah, you've got a dome light that obviously doesn't turn on because when you plug into the truck, then you can use the dome light. So super basic, almost really basic, almost nothing. But I like how basic it is. It allows you to have the freedom to do what you want. Also this thing, I wish I could show you how it works, but we're too close to the wall. This thing would hook up to the to the door right here so it can you can hold the door open. And then right here, here's all your amenities to tow it. There's the jack, and then this is the emergency uh, stop thing where if it gets too far, it'll pull that pin out and it'll lock up the brakes. Super nice. And yeah. I put a lock on that so it doesn't come with that. And also these chains, I've heard a lot of people cross-link them so they go across. I don't know why they do that, but it's, it's cool. 
but here's that. This is how you walk the ball to the uh, to the trailer. So you go. This is unlocked now, and if you want to lock, you just lift up and push it in. It's very nice. That's your emergency. This box is the battery for the emergency brakes, the breakaway switch. Because so this goes on the same place that the chains hook up to. So when you you clip it on, and if the trailer gets too far away, it'll, it'll pull that out, and then you'll you'll lock up the brakes for an emergency. So hopefully that doesn't happen. So yeah. Also got like a trailer lock here so no one steals it. I know it's a good neighborhood, but I don't want anyone stealing it. You've also got running lights right here and one at the front right there. And then you've got two on this other side, one right there and in the same location. And if you look under the car, it's using the suspension as leaf springs. So yeah. Super simple, they're just leaf springs. The chassis I think is steel, but the, the floor is just plywood. So not the not the greatest, but it's pretty nice. It uses the same latching system on the door to keep it shut. We've you've got some tail lights, one right here, one on the other side, and one up top that are super bright. Yeah. Then these hinges, I think there's a hole right there that the grease is covering that you would put grease in with a grease gun, but it's already greased up. Then up here, I don't know what that is. I think it's a running light, but if you look at that, it's a light, but I don't know what it's for. There's not one on the other side, so I don't know what that's for. Also the trailer, is got a v-shaped front it's more aerodynamic than the flat shaped ones and it doesn't have the thing where it, it tapers down the top stay tuned dudes and dudettes and peace out on the racing journey